Hi, welcome to Movie Club today and Animal Kingdom to Animal Adventures. Yes, we're gonna go see some animals, right? We're gonna eat some lunch. Yep. Yep. So what's your favorite wild animal? Cheetah. Cheetah. Ooh, you like the cats, don't you? Yeah. Yes. I like tigers and I like gorillas. You can ask everybody else what they like too. What is the animal at Animal Kingdom? Perfect. All right, let's go do this. Let's do this. Woohoo! Lily, you'd lead the way. Last time I was in a cave with you, it was difficult. Mm, she got it. Good job, Lil. Did you make it through? Is your ponytail that long? Let's see. Not quite, no. I feel like this one is meditating. Oh. kangaroos and it's hot for them too so they're just chilling. Two more down here. Alright Lily, what are these? Giant tortoise. <laughs> There's a giant Galapagos tortoise. Or tortoises. There's, there's at least four of them. And they're all snacking. They look like little dinosaurs, really. <laughs> if you were to have a turtle, what would you name him or her? Crushy. Who? Crush. Crush? Oh, perfect, right? That's awesome. From Nemo. From Nemo, yes. I got it. Thank you. Alright, there's the tamarind monkeys. But did you know there's also something else in this pen that I don't know if we've ever noticed before? Can you see them? More turtles or tortoises. There's actually two of them down here that we know of. Ooh, they are stinky. 
So time for lunch? Yep. Somewhere new? Yep. Something different, right? Something different. And where is it? Tiffin. Tiffin. We've never been here before. But we figured, let's give it a try, right? Let's do this. Woohoo! Door. And it's somewhere right there. All right. Thank you. So we are at Tiffin's. Here's parlor appetizers. And their main course is. Got bail buns. Bail buns. So these are made with oyster mushrooms. And they look delicious. Let's try them, right? Mm, yum. Yum. Mm -hmm. What, what did you get? Meatballs, mac and cheese, and green beans. Well, I think that's like broccoli. Meatballs, mac and cheese, broccoli, and then I got this Szechuan. Oh, wait. Okay. And that looks good too? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, no, don't make it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. I got cookies and cream. Brownie, right? Yeah. Like a little Mickey. And I have a mango pudding dessert. Just like maybe a little bit of creamy avocado. I think we're going to enjoy this, right, Lily? Yeah. All right. What do you have there? A napkin for me. It's a fancy napkin, though, right? Do your little napkin dance. <laughs> These are fancy, aren't they, Will? Yep. So it's been a hot day. We've had people passing out around us. Trucks breaking down. Because it's hot. Okay. Against that wall. Oh, big yawn for the sleepy hippo. And to our left are their neighbors, these Nile crocodiles. Looks like there's one hanging out on the land and one taking itself a dip in the water there. If you're on this left hand side, you can probably get a really good look at this one hanging out right next to the Now, sometimes the female owls recognize them. They are the emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve because they are protectors. Their horns curve in towards their back, helping them defend themselves from any predators that may attack them from behind. Now, if the sable was to ever find itself in a fight or flight situation, they'll always choose fight. And they've been known to win fights against lions, among many other different predators. And here are these springbok over on our left. And they're actually my favorite animals on the whole reserve, and that's my favorite springbok in particular. It only has one horn. So cute. Now, these springboks, they are known. They use those long necks to reach up to the tops of the tall trees, and then use those tongues to grab a hold of leaves. And they make great uses of these tongues of flange. Whenever they herd together, these stripes confuse predators, making it where they can not by up to 15 degrees. And to our left, there's that male mandrel, the size and bright coloration. Now, mandrels, they are the largest species of monkey. And although they aren't very thin, Whenever we get to the water, we're getting up into this baby. Oh, delicious. Oh, getting a drink of water. It's a little. And now back over to mom. There we are. Sticky little rhinos. And coming up and recycle them into their new home. Whenever they go to bed at night, they back into their burrows, that way their tusks are visible, warning off any predators that may try and attack them as they sleep. And their tusks are made out of ivory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, those ones are about nine days old. Um, the ones over there under the bush, there's more babies over there. They're about almost five weeks old. This is my favorite bird. It's called a hammer top. Yeah, it's a cool bird. Um, he's a good fisherman. Yeah. Planet Watch. Maybe cool off over there and see some more animals. Yeah. Maybe some other things too. Yeah. All right. All aboard, right, Lily? Did you know Fantasy was the first animated movie to bring five animals into the studio? In the 1940s, Walt Disney and his animators modeled characters from the film after the movements and natural features. Are there any live counterparts? This tradition continues today as animators travel throughout the world to observe animals. What are we doing, Lily? Drawing. The animation experience, yep. right? So Lily's ready. She's got her pencil. It looks like you have like the base of it already, right? And then we're just waiting for the show to start. We're at Rafiki's Planet Watch, right? Yes. Cooling off because it is, it is really, really hot, isn't it? Did you almost melt out there, like Olaf? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty brutal. <laughs> but here we go. Since the 1930s, Disney animators have put their pencils to paper in service of the idea that the like greatest like inspiration often comes from the magic of nature. Mark it better when you feel it's right. And if we do have a happy accident, that's fine. Be like Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead. We're going to start with hey, this beak. And now that beak is going to go right along here. We're going to do something a little bit complicated. And it's going to be to trace this line. <laughs> now this is going to be one side of the beak. Once you have this line traced, Let's go ahead on the other side. We're going to extend this. And we're going to go kind of parallel to it. So, to draw the line, we're going to be using these two blue lights right here. And we're going to connect them together. So, go from one to up to you. This is your masterpiece. Your How are we doing, work. Lily? You're here relaxing. He's got eyes now, now right? Like a flight of passage. So, just the more you draw, the better you get. And isn't it great? You can get better at something while you're enjoying the process. 
process. How did you do? Good, good. It was fun. Did you have fun? Yep. That's all that matters. So that makes you part of the business. Our owl could use another cup of coffee or maybe he had yeah. too many cups of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's a good first try, right? Yeah. Yay! Good job, Lil. Now to commemorate your new title, go ahead and sign your beautiful art. Alright, is it raining outside? Yeah. Luckily we're inside, right? And we have some things to look at. It's probably like, I mean, oh yeah, this is like a little it's kind of cute. Kind of Star Wars ish, right? Ooh, there's a newt in here. See him or her? Right. Mm. Cool. Okay. Frog is cute, but it's poisonous, so we don't touch. So they actually have the oxalot or whatever. And there it is. That's super cool. Lily, what is this one? It's a Chinese crocodile lizard. Wow. Well, this Lily looks ominous. And then you have that next to it. That's what nightmares are made out of. Can you see the walking stick? It's kind of hanging upside down. Oh, there's a big old one right on the right side there. Did you find a hidden Mickey? Yep. Let's see if everybody else can see it. So in this tank is uh, cherry shrimp and bamboo shrimp. I think you can find the hidden Mickey though pretty good. Necessary tools. Lily, are you drawing again? Paper, yep. Pencil, Who is it this time? Zootopia. Zootopia. She wanted to try. If you are missing any of these important blank tools, canvas. just raise your hand. And if you need a sister guideline, I'm just going to sketch in this little very circular oval. And we're just going to keep it light till it feels right. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and darken it. I'm going to go to the left of the center guideline and get another oval. So if you're looking at that and go, those look like circles to me. They're open and there's light someplace, it reflects off of our eyes. So if we want him to look like he lives in a world that has a sun in it or a light bulb, a rectangle that doesn't connect at the top. They're lanky, they're aerodynamic, so they can run, and they've got spots. So we're just going to go in and we're going to add lots of little spots. He actually has a hidden Mickey uh, in his fur. Because if you haven't seen them, they're over on safaris. A few of them over there. And then the rest is a, is a big cartoon, basically. So you can make ultra realism with computer animation. We're hand drawing him. So fun at Animal Kingdom today? Yeah. Yes. But I think the heat won out, right? I yeah. think we're calling it a day. We're going to shorten it a day, but yeah. that's okay. We love this park. Yeah. Lots of fun. We didn't get to do everything we wanted to do, but next time, right? Yeah. All right. What do you got to say? Thank you so much. I got fun too. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.